Okay, right, hello and welcome back to another video. So this week I'm very pleased to announce the release of a new course uh, looking at blueprints, uh, specifically blueprints as tools for environment artwork. So uh, it's a seven hour long course uh, covering these four example assets and then we break down every single part uh, and sort of build up step by step and kind of do examples of all the, uh, the new techniques that get introduced. So we have here a dynamic asset uh, and so we have the option to change the mesh, uh, change things like the light being on and on, on and off, uh, change what the light color is, all this kind of stuff. So introducing variables, uh, making something that's a kind of contained prefab asset where you can edit it dynamically in the level, uh, which is very, very useful. Next we move on to a spawning blueprint. So here I have a dynamically spawning blueprint. I can change the number of books, I can change the scale. Uh, I can change whether I want them to be randomly rotated or not, all uh, dynamically using the blueprint here. Um, so very cool kind of spawning uh, approach to building uh, dynamic environments. Uh, next we have a look at a spline tool. So here using a spline input we're able to draw a path and then spawn meshes appropriately along that. So in this case we're using a fence uh, and we look at various different techniques for this. Uh, using spline meshes and maybe things that you could use sort of cables that kind of stuff uh, so how to build these kind of dynamic tools which can really speed up your workflow and then the last thing we look at uh, is an animation tool so timelines and so maybe you can see here in the shadows there's some movement happening uh, because we've animated the light inside this blueprint so um, a really powerful set of tools uh, for each one of them Every new concept that we introduce, we have a broken down simple example. Uh, so starting here with how the UI works, the sort of introduction of parameters and variables, and so on and so forth, uh, each with its own little kind of simple example. And then for each of the four worked examples, we have step-by-step -step progress, building up everything in that uh, and going through, picking up common bugs, common uh, errors and misconceptions, uh, and then also talking about performance as well. So some um, kind of performance hits when you're doing things like spawning. Overall, it is, as I say, seven hours worth of video content um, covering an awful lot of what I know about uh, in Blueprint. So uh, if you do want to get the course, it is available now on Gumroad uh, and will be coming to Udemy soon. Um, yeah, it's really good. Uh, I think there's an awful lot to be learned here. It's a very powerful toolkit that people should know how to use. Uh, and then, um, yeah, you can learn it here. Uh, it is also included in the Tech Art Bundle. Uh, if you are already a owner of the Tech Art Bundle, then it has been updated to be into that course. Um, if not, you can buy it now. You can get the four materials courses and the three Niagara courses with that. Uh, and any future courses that I'm gonna add are also gonna get updated into this bundle as well. So. Um, Buy it now, make some savings in the long run. Okay, uh, more Blueprint stuff coming soon, hopefully. Um, but for now, that's it for this video. Please do check it out. If you have any comments or questions about the course, uh, or if you've bought it and you've got some uh, questions about what's happening in there, please do let me know, uh, and I'll see you all next time with some more tutorials.